So I am going to be using this image of Kusama. I think she looks super cute here. I love her wig. So as always, I'm gonna start with the basic shape, the circle. I'm gonna kind of map out where everything is. Since her wig is such a prominent thing here, I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna draw these lines to kind of map out where the features of her face are. And now I have the sketching done. I'm gonna do the inking. I really love how in this photo, the way she's holding the paintbrush, the actual brush is not even being used. She's just using the stick, love it. All right, and now that I have the line work done, I'm going to erase my pencil lines and start coloring in with my markers. Some fun facts you may or may not know about her is that she was born on March 22nd, 1929 in Matsumoto, Japan. Although best known for her sculpture and immersive installation work, Kusama is also a poet, novelist, illustrator, performing artist, experimental filmmaker, fashion designer, and a prolific painter. Wow. That's a lot. Also, in World War II, she worked at a parachute factory in Japan sewing military uniforms. That's how she developed the technique to sew her iconic soft sculptures. When she was 27, Kusama moved to New York after living in Japan and France for better opportunities to pursue her art. There, she experienced many challenges. Many male artists copied her work, which made them famous, but Kusama did not make the money or recognition she deserved. Kusama also had a lifelong struggle with mental illness and used her art as a type of healing and coping mechanism. Within Kusama's work, she often uses a lot of polka dots, which were inspired by hallucinations she had as a child looking at a tablecloth. Her dotted artworks helped her cope with stress-induced hallucinations she had as a child. She said, By translating hallucinations and fear of hallucinations into my paintings, I've been trying to cure my disease. Kusama's style is noted as pop art and avant-garde. You'll recognize some repeated themes such as her obsession with polka dots, the concept of infinity and the use of repetition, one of the elements of design. In 1973, Kusama returned to Japan and in 1977, checked herself into a hospital for the mentally ill, where she still currently lives. She has since been acknowledged as one of the most important living artists to come out of Japan, and in 2016, Time Magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world. Her infinity mirror installations invited viewers of all ages to step into a room to experience the magic and illusion of a never-ending space. Her latest exhibitions were sold out around the world, and in her 80s, Kusama finally got the recognition she deserved. And here's the final piece. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like it a lot, please share it with a fellow art nerd, and if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe!